simple EXE. Um, I've tried to get and the basic. Mac, Mac already does it with Airport. And Mac has Airport that grabs the same information. So it's we've tried to keep it also as generic as we can, right? Just just the Mac address. Every tool is capable of gathering that, and and the signal level. Um, so how do you how do you enter your 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 positions? Make sure that. When, when you're taking a data point, you know that your position is going to be as accurate as possible because it's, it's eyeballing it, right? Yeah, it is eyeballing. Uh, Europe put in this great little this scan mode checkbox. So it used to be um, we just had it you double click anywhere on the map and it would do a scan right away. And sometimes you're just double clicking and yet make a mistake. And then we'd have to go into the database and delete all the different rows. And since we've normalized the database, it's going into five different tables and wiping out rows. It, it, it became a bit tedious. So we just make sure doing it in, in scan mode. Um, once you're in scan mode, you look on the map and figure out precisely, you know, within a couple of pixels where we might be, then do the scan. What degree of accuracy do you think you can find in the idea of the Do you have any idea? Well, uh, with the scan we've done now, like I said, that's about two and a half to three meters. Um, this is with only less than 10. Uh, points that we're actually trying to estimate our location with. If we uh, map each four with uh, some reasonable amount of uh, scan known points, the precision should be pretty accurate and pretty consistent. Do you think you can get it down to one meter? It really just depends on data collection. There was a, the, the person at uh, Computer Science who was doing her PhD on this. She had it down to two and a half meters uh, using triangulation. Um, she was also using it for, for a real-time navigation algorithm. But um, she said that she scanned every, I think it was five feet. She did 300 scans, so it would take four to five minutes to do a scan every five feet of this entire floor with 14 access points. Uh, she said it took her about two weeks to collect all that data for one floor. And she had it down to two and a half meters. This had to only the location of the actual access point. Right, yeah. Yeah, so, I think you guys are on just a minute with this traffic method, for sure. Mm -hmm. We just, the, the, the most basic amount of information that we can collect is, is all we really need. If you run reference flow where you did like 50 to 80 scans, you see that you're coming down to a meter or something? And we, haven't, we haven't really pushed it to see how granular we can go. Um, that might be something to, to really try to figure out where, what's, what's the threshold. I mean, if we're going to have to fingerprint a thousand floors all over campus, you know, does one point for each floor work? Or do I mean, just ten? to see if, if you said you do 10 scans and you get two meters or something. Mm -hmm. If you just do a factor 10 and you make 100, mm -hmm. see yeah, what's that's a good idea. Would, yeah. would something like WiMAX distort this in the sense that it's a very powerful signal that really doesn't seem to taper off? It sort of just seems to blanket the data with the signal? Um, WiMAX is it's using its own um, licensed spectrum from the government of Canada. So it's not it's not near the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So we don't have to worry about that so much. I mean, I, I don't know if it's close to 2.4, but I, I'm pretty sure it's either 5.8 or in the 14 gigahertz range. So don't really much have to worry about that one. Um, Wi-Fi is, I mean, I guess the one thing we haven't really figured out is uh, um, yeah, phones, you know, just a cordless phone, that's 2.4 gigahertz. But because it doesn't have a MAC address, uh, I don't think it's really going to be affecting anything, or it would uniformly affect everything else. As long as well. it has the MAC address, you, know, you, you can use your scanning technique to pick up anything, any, any, any uh, frequency. Yeah, how would cell phone uh, companies identify it? So there must be some sort of identification other than a MAC address for cell phone? Yeah, I. I I don't know too much about how that technology works. I know each phone has an ESN and then... Um, Triangulation on cell towers, that's yeah. something... I mean, that's being used for indoor uh, GPS location as well, that triangulation information. But we just thought, because Wi-Fi is ubiquitous on U of T's campus, I mean, it's in every single building. There's a real-time map of the campus that always shows about four to 500 people logged in at any given time from any building. Um, that's and there, the infrastructure's there, and I can do that with any device that has Wi-Fi. And you will see there that are paying for the license to use indoor cell, cell triangulation. Um, yeah. Would you, be able to, uh, would you be able to answer the question, if I'm going to put 10 Wi-Fi signals points in, in, a, in, a, in a certain floor, right, would you 
Do you guys know about this? I haven't really looked at that at all. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's there are companies who probably charge a good, a good amount. Well, this is, this is something that we do place, regularly right? on a regular oh, basis. Oh, right, yeah. CNS. Yeah. 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 Like the one of the one of the people, one of my coworkers, that's what he does most of the time is run around and make projections in terms of if you want to cover these areas, we recommend access points here and here and here. That's the, it's done. It's done somewhat. There are very fancy tools to do it, but we do it the sort of old-fashioned, old-fashioned old approach because we just need to go through the experience. Okay. The time taken for the access point to show can be used in some way. Maybe in microseconds, like this, Sorry, and it depends on the broadcast. Like you're meaning the wait time as we're sitting and waiting for the scan? Yeah, I mean, uh, does it have any significance? No, like we've, we've tried to keep it as, as quick as we can, right? No, I mean, I mean using that as information, because I, I read about in my uh, cell phones, like using the time taken for the signal to reach the cell phone from three different cell towers. Oh, oh I see. Using well, that as a method of triangulation. Because this that would calculate the distance kind of, right? Yeah. Yeah, and location. This, exactly. this is um, the other great thing about this that we, we've designed this in. It's completely passive. So you seem like we can be doing scans, but we're also connected to Wi-Fi at the same time. We, we never have to break the user's connection to the internet um, so that we can pull up, let's say, a Google Map or something like that. Actually, these images before uh, this morning, these were all running off of our, our Skip web server instead of on the local laptop. And so we were downloading images in real time as we were locating ourselves on the map. Um, that's something we've tried to really keep because to, have to force the user to break their connection is to cut them off from potential information that they could be collecting or adding about their location. I think this what you're saying is that in order to, to take into account the time of arrival, we would have, have to, to break the connection. We would have to be sending out information specifically. Yeah, specific and then packets. get it back. I yeah. agree. I agree. Okay. What's the name of this? Like I said, we don't know where they are. Um, all we all we know is that there is an access point somewhere that shows up in a scan. We actually, uh, we actually try to uh, different ways of collecting data to see the good effects. We try to collect the data when we are connected to the Wi-Fi, and as well as when we are not. Because as long as the picture, the, the, the images work, we can disconnect them, and it will still locate us. When Yes.